feeling so bad like Riri Turn it up loud, I'm telling you now Got your love on repeat like a CD Baby girl so bad like Riri Telling you now, got your love on repeat like a CD Bust down on my wrist all VV What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Cover up the logo. Oh, my. Gosh, have some decorum. I don't have none of that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, I'm just kidding. Today, I'm back with Mr. B. You can't take his hands off the freaking donut. So sorry. Hi, I'm her boss. Yeah, how embarrassing. <laughs> okay, today, we are just going to be talking about I don't know. What should we Girl, we need to show them um, Forky. Um. Okay, you guys. So, I created a little Forky from Toy Story. That's the Four. chair. Not my butt. Um, I know you did some I didn't do that. nothing. <laughs> so, the kids are going to do this this afternoon. They can't see that. <laughs> Who is that? Yes, I'm back. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that logo. I feel like I'm taking a shower. Oh, exposed. No, well, my us. It's our breakfast. And yes, if you're thinking we're not being healthy, we're drinking orange juice too. Very disgusting. Very healthy, disgusting. You know how you got that pop and everything in it. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Oh disgusting wait, we're not live. They didn't, they didn't know that. <laughs> they so sorry. Definitely didn't know that. My either. apologies. But now they do. <laughs> do you think that if you're dating someone that they should block previous people off social media who they had relations with? Golly gee, that's a deep conversation. Um, what do you think? Let's go with you first. Why? Because <laughs> my answer is going to be like, um, no. It could be a yes or a no. Depending on the person. Depending on the relationship that you have with the person. Are you the revengeful type? And you want to give them around just to show how happy you are now? That you're out of that toxic relationship? Or, if you don't want to hurt their feelings... Yeah, block them. But then you're going to have them, if you still keep in contact with them, they're going to come and say, um, I see that I don't, I, don't, I don't see you on my page anymore. Then that's a whole explanation that you have to do. I mean, then you have to explain why you don't have them on social media anymore. Yeah, but you don't owe them that type of explanation. You should be worried about the person who you're dating at the moment. Not oh, of course, yes. Most definitely. Yeah. But who in this world going to act like they're not going to come after you and say, so why did you block me? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's different. You know, it's diff it depends on the relationship you have with the person. But my thing, it shouldn't bother anybody if, you, if I still got you on social media or not. As long as I ain't, like, you know, in your DMs, as people call it. I don't care. You can like my pictures all you want. I mean, I'm different. I don't care. I'm not. I'm jealous, but I'm not to the point where I'm like, mm, why are they liking your pitch? I agree, but I just feel like two things. So I just feel like once the person who they block knows that they're blocked, I just feel like they're going to know that they have that one up. Like, oh, yeah, he still want me back. I can go and be a home wrecker. Um knowing that he's moved on like if that person or she if that person still wants your partner and two i just feel like you know some people do have insecurities like honestly like we all do so let's not act like we don't um and mm -hmm. some people can't just bear the fact that you with somebody else no somebody some people just can't bear the fact that you're still it's almost like you still want that person in your life. Like, why? They yeah. don't have to be blocked, but, like, unfollow them or, you know, just no communication at all. Just, like, even with their number. Like, do you think they should delete their number? I feel no, like they should. I mean, you literally just said, said the key word. They still want them in their lives. I mean, my thing is, I still have a few people in my life still that are access. But they know for a fact there is no more us. We can be friends, we can chill, kick it, blah, 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 go out, whatever. Okay, so you say y'all can be friends, but what if the person who you're dating 
and this is a what if what if the person who you're dating doesn't isn't okay with y'all being friends then that's that for them and the person your ex can't accept that y'all can't be friends because of your new person then it's just sad I just feel this. like if you're going to be this. with someone and you're not ready to let go of your ex, then just don't move on, obviously. Like, you can't move on. So don't add somebody else into the equation and cause all this confusion. That's how I see it. I don't think it will be. Somebody I'm talking to is still talking to their ex. Not in that way, but they're friends. Just because your exes don't mean that y'all weren't friends before. I don't care. Y'all literally had intercourse. Y'all literally had intimacy. Like, mm -hmm. mm -mm. y'all don't need to have no form of nothing. Because if y'all go and y'all hang out and y'all get in the moment and something happens and y'all get intimate again, now you you messing up our relationship and everything we got going on. You see what I'm saying? Well, that's so. the trust thing. If you can trust yeah. that person I have big trust to issues. not f up, trust issues. then they should not f I don't. I, I. I'm the type of person. I don't care until you show me that I can't trust you. I will trust you, mm -hmm. and have and believe that we will have an open communication with whoever is in your life. I don't care if it's an ex or someone from the past. <laughs> I don't care, as long as you know. At the end of the day, you with me, and I, I'm with you. I guess I can say as long as it's respectful, that yeah. I can you know tolerate it or I can accept it or allow it. But if it's like if that person is crossing boundaries at that point, that's when I'm like, okay, no. If you're crossing boundaries at that point, I'm like, then okay. it's different. If you cross, if you're the one crossing the boundaries, then it's it's a different story. If the other person is crossing boundaries, then I you should have enough respect, not me, but the person you're dating should have enough respect to tell their ex. Um, I'm X, Y, and Z um, with somebody. So all we can do is just hang, chill, kick it, whatever. But that's about it. There is no nothing with us. All right. So let us know in the comments how you guys feel about, <laughs> like, your person um, following their ex on social media or exes because it could be multiple people oh, wow. and as well as <laughs> um them deleting their number let me know what you guys think in the comments because i want to know what y'all thinking how y'all feeling like i want to see different perspectives and point of view so mm -hmm. me, me too i but i know i mean the one i'm talking to he still talks with his ex mm -mm. and they friends mm -mm. but like like I said, it's all about trust and communication. And I asked. I said, well, are you and your um, ex thinking about getting back together? And he was like, no. You know, that, that life is over. I said, okay. He's like, we just friends and that's, that's <laughs> about it. And that's the thing. Like, people always, I mean, you never know the situation. It could be like, say, for instance, even though I know this will have never happen. Me and Miss might be um, BFFs. And then we just maybe like wanted to dibble dabble into a relationship. Maybe a month or two, you know, then we figure out that it doesn't work out. And we just like, you know what? We're better off just friends. Then I meet somebody else. I'm like, oh yeah, that's my best friend slash ex. We dated for a little bit, but you know, we're just friends. Now, why would the other person get mad of you still talking to your ex who is actually your best friend in the beginning? You don't know the whole story. So my thing is, always ask, why are you still talking to your ass? Because it could be one of those. I don't agree with that because I just feel like some people believe in, or I'm a believer in um, right person, wrong time. And that's exactly what that sounds like. So if we're best friends and we feel like we want to, I don't know, it didn't work the first time. We want to jump back into it later, years later. And but what if you don't want to jump back into it? You rather just stay friends. But what if they friends? do? We're friends I mean, for well, a long yeah. time. But then that's I, different. I go out that's to different. dinner or out to lunch with you or breakfast, and you looking at me, and I'm looking at you. I'm like, you but then that's try different. Again? Then that's like, different. You no. have to have that conversation. Yeah, but but no, if, if, because, but if it's not, because then you're gonna say f the person who you're talking to, and then you're focusing on your best. Oh friend, no no like, no mm -mm. no! It doesn't work like that. No no, honey. No. Mm -hmm. See this is my see ex okay. <laughs> 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 so this is where I say communication is always key. If y'all break up. There, there could be a time where you can be like, right now it's not the time. But we can still be friends. We could, you know, try to still date or whatever. That's fine. But if you're coming at like, 
No, I think we should just rather just stay friends because I don't I don't see you in that light. Yeah, or but whatever. nobody knows that. Nobody knows what's going to happen. That's why I say what if because years later, you still want me in your life and you want to yeah. be friends. But some people hold on to that like in the back of their mind and don't even know like, okay, we're just friends. But years later... Like, maybe we should try again. Like, you just, you look good. We have this good friendship. They have this good connection. Okay, so is, is this is this why you're still single or why you with somebody? Because if you're saying all of that, you should be saying that while the other person's single. Well, I know that. Are you that talking th about me? I know, no, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I'm like, the, are you coming for me right no, now? No, the way you're saying it. Well, I'm, you know, you looking good. You know, I think we should try again. Are you saying that why the other person is single or why that other person is dating someone? Well, I don't know. And then that's the thing, Well, what too. don't you know? People lie because at, on my side. on So, I'm not talking about me and No, no like, I know not you in personal. Yeah, right. but like, okay, so say if I'm that person. So, on my side, it's like, I know what, what my person situation are you? is. So, I'm the person who, um, from, saying, from this perspective, you look good. I'm the I'm the friend. So we have. So I'm the one that's saying, "Oh, girl, you look good." Okay, so I'm thinking I want to get back with you. Okay, so we were friends first. Mm -hmm. We connected, and then we decided, okay, we're just friends. We we just gonna be just friends. Okay. I have okay. I have somebody else who I know what this situation is. Okay. And you have. Mm -hmm. I don't got no situation right now. Okay, so you don't have a situation right now. But if you, so let's say even if it's not me, what if it's that person and like, you know, maybe we should try again. And I'm like, okay, well, let me think about it. And then when I'm with this person, all I'm thinking about is you telling me, let's try again. No, like, no, no, no. Did this person say, let's try again? Or am that I person coming? Then. So You're I'm coming. coming. Saying, let's but try see, again. this person will be up because this person should already know that you're already with somebody. Yeah, but they don't give a because they want me. <laughs> But th that's the point. That's that's the. Then this person will like you know I'm in a relationship. Why would you come at this? Yeah, now? but you don't have there loyal no, people yeah. like that. You don't no. have loyal. Not everybody's loyal like that. But then, that's what okay, I'm, then you need to get rid of that person th because that person's got enough respect to know that if I'm with somebody, I'm with somebody. If I'm single, that. if I'm single, then yeah, come at me. This goes back to my point though, saying blocking, deleting numbers, no friendship, like cut all them ties. This person. Listen, but I, we're grown, so... Exactly, there you go. The person so who you want time? in your life is the person who you want in your life. Not then go no with ex, that person. Not no, especially, and this goes for friends, too. Like, why do I need to have this toxic friend in my life if we know we don't work good as friends, but she want to keep coming back to be my friend? Oh, like, no. It will never be none of that. <laughs> exactly. So why is it not none of that but with it's a lover? Not toxic with, why with, is it not but none of that with a toxic. lover? You want to know why? Because they had that intimate connection. They... <laughs> exactly. See, that's what I'm saying. This goes but, to my okay, point. Okay, okay. So if but I know if I'm gonna spend that, the rest of my life with the person who I am dating, but it should be. I don't want to hear nothing about no. Oh, that's my friend. Oh, this my best friend. Oh, that's my cousin. That's my fake sister. I don't give a sh. Where the cousin come from? <laughs> because that's what they be saying. Like, no, cut all oh, ties. Oh, okay, I get it. Cut all ties. I I'll say no. Don't cut all ties. You have if a you life. Have a and if you have a friend that is that you know that will respect you, I hope y'all get what I'm saying though. I, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, if you know that you have a friend that knows that you're in a relationship and y'all dated before, it's an ex lover, not just a friend. That's ex lover, friend, whatever. Why are you so focused on your past when you have this new person ready to build memories with you and you know make? But that's make, the thing. Something that you never. That's had. the thing. New new if, experiences. We're not worried about them no more. But if y'all still friends and y'all still kicking it, that is fine. There's a lot of people no. that still are friends with their access till their day. I don't care. Married and all. That's the problem. But you know what they're doing? They cheating on their husbands and their wives. But that's not always the case. But what if it is? Then, we want to talk about but, the what not. So let's talk about the what. But is. you can't always be so negative. Can I get an amen? But you can't always be so negative. That's like uh, like people come to me, Brandon. Why you want to date somebody that's long distance? You should date somebody that's that's in the same whatever world that you're in. Why? Why not take a chance with somebody that is long distance? Or are they cheating on you? Why is that always got to be so negative? Just because everybody else want to cheat on everybody doesn't mean that. He's doing that to me. Yeah. If if you have enough trust in somebody and you have enough open communication and you ask questions and you're honest with your questions, the other person, and you're honest with your questions too. 
then it shouldn't be no problem. But we're not but, talking about the people who aren't honest, the people who aren't loyal. And and from this person, but you I need can to be talk so about in love and so blindsided. I don't even know what you're doing sneaky behind my back. So it's like I'm giving you all this and you telling me all this, but you still got this one over here. Like, you get what I'm saying? I get <laughs> See? What saying. Chaos. I'm dropping the markers. I get what you're saying, baby. But... I don't know. Maybe it's just me then. I no, it, no, I know it's it's a lot of other people too. We also have people in the, on my side as well that saying that they can deal with them. It's okay, but if you find out shit that you that you or you you know people God send you signs, you know when something's going down. Yeah, that's true. Cause it be popping up in the dreams. And exactly. Like, oh. Um, you be getting a message from somebody. I be getting a message. Is this your? I is this your boo? Is this your? Oh, I saw him in such and such out with such and such and such. I be getting messages for other people's okay. relationships. I be like, he did what? She did what? So, let me do this. Let me say this, YouTubes. <laughs> I got people who don't know that I'm dating somebody. I don't put them on social media. Still got them on my social media. But I don't post nothing about what I'm doing with the other person. I post it just me. I want them to keep thinking that I'm single. Why? Well, See, that's now the problem. Me... You leaving that line of open. No, it ain't no open. Yeah, because you want people to be like, oh, you look good. You fine. Can I talk to you? Can I get to know you? Why are you doing that? You know you got somebody. Why are you not telling people? It's Listen, it don't always have to be even... public and, and people Finish. in your business. It can be let them know you dating, but keep your, your business private. No, nah, because you're talking about, but that's what I was about they don't know. I don't let them that, know that I'm talking. You I should know. be letting them know that you're talking to somebody. Because that leaves that line of openness for them to be like, okay, so what you doing tonight? But like, I, didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get the picture. But okay. if they ask him, yes. I'd be like, no, I'm dating. I'm talking about on social media, period. Like we post, oh, this is my boo. This is my babe. Mm -hmm. But in a private message, if they come and say, hey, you, you single? No, I'm talking to somebody. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And keep it like that. I don't. I don't feel like posting my relationship anymore because of the last one I had. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just post only me. I'm not now, saying you have to post them, but I'm saying no, no. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general. Just from, letting people know that you. Yeah, are. I'm definitely gonna let them know. But I'm just saying, like, if you come to me and say, "Hey, are you single? Are you that?" Point and point and take them. I have somebody. From my past that I dated a long time ago. We still cool. We still friends and all. And this December, he came and asked me, um, hey, um, are you single? And I said, um, no, I'm kind of talking to somebody. He's like, well, are you with them? I said, no, we're just talking, dating. He's like, well, I want to be with you. And I said, what part of I'm talking to someone don't you understand? See what I mean? See how he's going against what you're saying? Right. And even though but, you're you're saying no, some people be like, okay, like they fall into that temptation. So fall in what temptation? Of, Who? Of of, of Who, me? I'm you know, I'm talking you about I'm talking about me like I know I just said you saying back off, but you got some people who be like, okay, so what you trying to do? Then that's their dumbest. That that's their dumb fault. That's true. That's true. Because if you ain't strong in your relationship or who you trying to build something with and have that have that respect for the person you're dating and telling this other person, no, I don't f*** you in that way. Mm -hmm. We can still be friends and whatever. But in my situation, my thing is, I don't want to f*** you in that way anyway because the way you came at me with you're mature now, you're, you're grown now, you're doing this and you're doing that. But when we dated, oh, oh no, yeah, it is. But when we dated, you weren't like that in the beginning. Yeah. So now that I'm dealing with somebody else, and now you want to try your hand at it, because now you see me being successful and doing all the things that I've been wanting to do. Now you want to creep your way back in to try to date me. You didn't say none of this years ago when I was single mm -hmm. or not dealing with nobody. But now you want to test yourself. And then you have the audacity to say, well, you're not with them. You should be with me. Why? Mm -mm. Why? Get out of here. Why? Why? I already told you no. That was one. Two, I said we could still be friends, but that's it. Mm -mm. Three, you it. trying to push it too much. But that's the thing, though. You trying to push it, and you thinking that, oh, I'll probably be the same old person. No, I'm not the same old person. I found who I want to be with, and that's it, period. Have respect enough. If you want to be so-called my friend, have enough respect. And if you can't, there's the door, and make that a 
hit it. Period. But if you had flipped the script and said, hey, um, are you single? Because I want to uh, date you and everything. Um, date, date you and everything. And I go, no, I'm seeing someone right now. But um, yeah, we can still be friends. The other person has enough respect. They're like, okay, I respect that. Um, okay, cool. Um, I tried, you know, I'm happy for you. Da, 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 da. Now that's how you should do. That's how you still have a relationship. Be like, oh yeah, this is my friend. Da, 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 da. We ask when we da, 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 but we mm -hmm. just cool. It ain't nothing going on with that. Period. And then you as a friend should say, yeah, it ain't nothing going on with that. He already rejected me. Damn right. Thumbs up. Thumbs mm -hmm. up. Everybody. But, but everybody's not like that. Yeah. As you can see, the story I just told you before, that, that should have happened. But it's also on me to still, if, if I feel like if, it, if it's a little too much, then yes, block. Because now you keep coming at me. You keep, you keep trying to send new pictures or this and that. No, block after that. If the other person is um, respectful enough to respect your boundaries and respect your wishes, then yeah, we can still be friends. I can still call you a friend because you have enough respect. Just as much if... I was the single one, and he was talking to somebody, and I wanted to get back with him. And he tells me, nah, I'm talking to somebody now, but we can still be friends. There's nothing more I can do but say, okay, well, I wish you good luck and everything. Um, want to go see a movie or want to go get a drink or da 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 whatever. That's it. Now, if you want to f*** up and be like, well, just because you're dating someone doesn't mean we can't get intimate. Then that's when you're dumb and then that's when they're dumb why are you talking? Why are you trying to do all that when you have somebody who is very sweet and kind and is in love with you and trying to get to be with you and you want to do all that messy stuff? Yeah. Then you need to get the the boo, the both of y'all. But it's all about respect and communication. Well, my generation, for one, don't have no respect. So oh, don't don't get it wrong. Mine doesn't either. I'm just in it. That's why half the people my age ain't married now. Cause mm. Y'all know what y'all, y'all know what y'all want. Y'all mm -mm. just want to be out here like idiots, roaming these streets, being little thoughts and stuff. And that goes for the guys too. But let me say this. Uh-oh. If you, because you, you made a really good point with the, well, what if I'm with someone and then my ex wants to get with me? There are times where I've seen people dump the one they're with just to get back with their ex. Now, my thing is, I feel like that's, it's, it's bad and it's good at the same time. The bad part is, why did you break up in the first place? Now, it could be the whole, it's not the right time, we can try later, cool being. But, it could be years from now, a point where they have a bad, a bad body, they looking different from what they used to look like. And you go, oh my goodness. It could be it could be a different way where y'all haven't talked in a long time. And then bam, they went to the gym. Or she got a nice ass now. Or he's built and ripped, you know. And like, oh, I want to get back with you. It could be where that could be very difficult to do. Would you do that? Would I do what? Say if you and your friend had dated... Y'all didn't work out. Y'all still talking and everything, but y'all don't see each other like that because you're dealing with somebody. And then he comes out of nowhere. I don't know, maybe at your birthday party or whatever, but he's ripped. Got this tight on shirt, smelling good, looking good. And all those old feelings come up. What would you do in that situation? Would you be like, bye, I'm going back with you. But even though you know why y'all broke up, would you fall for that? That's the real question. Me personally, I don't know. I would have to, not saying it like that. I honestly don't know. I would have to like experience that to know how I would really feel. I don't yeah. know. I feel like if I got some good going with this person and we want both the same things and they showing me all the right stuff, if my friend or my ex try to come back, um, I, I don't know, because it's like, if you still coming back with the same old, same old, you're not bringing nothing to the table, you you haven't grown, and you haven't done the things that a man's supposed to do, then probably not. And I have a, and I have a kid too, so I have to take those things into consideration, so. 
Right. Yeah. Definitely do. Can you pass me some scissors? It's right there, babe. Oh, sugar. How many ones is he? Um, yeah. Like, yeah. I like these conversations. So he was getting into the juiciness. The nitty gritty, <laughs> I told you. I, I, I was like, ooh. All right, you guys. This video is already long. Thank you so much for watching. Um, We will do a part two, and we're going to have more of these conversations and videos coming to you soon yes. make sure you give these this video a thumbs up oh the next video will be um if you know somebody is making you happy why go back to somebody else who doesn't stay tuned for that video <laughs> and that's the tea y'all oh my gosh okay <laughs> um what was i saying make sure you guys subscribe again thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to comment your thoughts. Don't forget to comment your thoughts. <laughs> okay. I see y'all laughing in the comments. <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe. I love you guys so much. Always remember, if it won't matter in five years, it doesn't matter right now within these five minutes. Okay. She just said. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.